What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. One of the questions I get asked a lot here on YouTube is, why not make some more side mount videos or make some side mount videos and kind of discuss how we do things. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to make a short video here for you and we're going to talk about cylinder trim in a side mount configuration, whether you're running a single cylinder or two independent cylinders throughout your side mount dive. Now, when we talk about cylinder trim, just like we want to be properly weighted and properly trimmed out in a back mount situation, we want to do the same thing in a side mount. We want to make sure we have the proper amount of weights. We want to make sure it's trimmed out or evenly dispersed across our body or our platform, if you will, so that we're horizontal in that water column. But we also need to take in consideration what type of cylinders we use, whether they're aluminum or steel cylinders, and we need to look at the buoyancy characteristics of those cylinders when they're empty. So when we do a proper weight check, whether it's side mount or back mount, we always want to do it with a nearly empty cylinder so that we can make sure that we can hold trim, hold buoyancy during a safety stop. So what I'm going to show you here is a video of me in a double side mount situation or two cylinders. I'm using aluminum 80s and they both have roughly around 500 PSI in it. The first part of the clip, you're going to see that both cylinders are way out of trim, and I'm going to show you one at a time how I adjust the trim, and of course, I'll commentate through the video to give you a little bit more explanation on what I'm doing. So take a quick look at these clips, and then I'll give you some final thoughts. Okay, guys, uh, just quick, tell you what I got here. Two aluminum 80s, right and left, both at around 500 PSI. Uh, as you can tell, both the left and right cylinders are way out of trim. They're sticking way up uh, behind me there. They're not trimmed out or level with my body. Uh, there's a left profile. Here's a right profile of it just showing you that both cylinders are way, way out of trim. And this is a common thing with aluminum and 80s if you dive them for side mount. Uh, you'll have that problem as the cylinders uh, you know, get low on air at the end of your dive, they will start to float up like that. And there's several things that you can do to fix it. Uh, the harness that I'm wearing there is the uh, Diamond 2.0 from Subgravity. And it's got, instead of a butt plate, I'm just using standard D-rings there on my hip. But I've also got forward-mounted D-rings, which you'll see as I adjust the cylinders to the forward-mounted D-rings, it does adjust it out and help me. I'm also just using standard cam straps there with bolt snaps attached to them. That's what I use when I travel if I side mount dive. So uh, here I've went ahead and I adjusted my left tank or my left cylinder and all I did was simply move the um, the attachment point from the rear D-ring there on my left hip to the forward D-ring uh, on the front of my hip there. And as you can tell, the left side cylinder now is in perfect trim with my body, even with 500 PSI. From this angle here, from the right profile, you'll see that the right cylinder is still out of trim, but my body has concealed that left cylinder because I've moved it back into trim. And like I said, all I did was simply unattach from the D-ring on my hip and reattach the bolt snap to the front or forward D-ring on my waist belt itself. So here's another profile view. This is from the right side. The right side cylinder is still out of trim. And then as I turn, you'll see that the left side cylinder has moved back into trim simply just by changing the attachment points. And then as we move into the next clip, uh, I actually did two things to the right cylinder. Uh, I did adjust the attachment point from the uh, right hip D-ring to the forward right or front forward D-ring. And I also adjusted the cam band itself, the height or you know whether I moved it up or down to help adjust that as well. And this may be something if you travel and you do side mount diving where you're using someone else's cylinders, um, you know, this is a good way to, you know, very quickly adjust it. Instead of having some other type of kit or stage kit or anything like that to attach, all I use is just cam bands with a little bit of bungee, a tri-glide, and a um, bolt snap. And as you can see, I just simply changed the attachment point, plus I changed uh, the height of the cam band, and it put the right side cylinder in trim uh, to match, of course, the left side cylinder. So here's from the right profile, right tanks in trim, and then as I turn, you'll see from the left profile that the left cylinder or left tanks in trim as well.
and all it takes is just a little bit of adjustment. Um, and, you know, I, I highly recommend always practice in a pool before you go to open water. So guys, as you can see, it didn't take very much for me to trim out my cylinders. It could have been something as simple as just moving it from a back D-ring to a front D-ring or simply adjusting my cam strap up and down the tank or sliding it up and down the tank to adjust the height or the trim of that cylinder. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you got any questions on this video or any of the ones in the past, simply put it down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer it the best and as quickly as I can. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.